And welcome to Horse Racing Today on HRTV. I am Mike Joyce. Now we have a triple crown on the line again and again for the third time in his career. Victor Espinoza is the pilot of these horses and we have him on the line right now. Thank you very much for joining us, Victor. How you doing? I am good. Thank you. And thank you guys for everything. Well, I, I want to get to a couple of questions that, that I have for you about American Pharaoh versus War Emblem and California Chrome. The first thing I want to ask you about is the competition. The competition that you're going to face going into the Belmont, is it is it tougher than what Chrome had to face? Do you think it's tougher than what War Emblem had to face? You saw a number of these horses in the Derby with the likes of Materiality and Frosted. Mutahij has already been there. Carpe Diem. There are some really nice horses waiting for you at Belmont. Do you think this is a tougher bunch you got to run against? I think so. I mean, there are, every year is, is tough. It's not easy. I I remember when I rode, rode a war envelope, there was a tough competition, too, in there. And and then some of those fresh horses, they're, they're waiting for it. Last year with the California Chrome, a couple of new ones there were waiting for them and they're, you know, for uh, Belmont. Um, this year, there's not just one or two. I think it's half of the field, maybe more. They're waiting for <laughs> For the, uh, for Belmont, they're all like fresh. I, I mean, I know Top Fletcher. He has probably four or five. I, I I'm assuming because he has too many horses in there. But you know, it, it's going to be very tough. Let me ask you about American Pharaoh's effort in the Preakness and how you felt he came out of that. It looked like in the Preakness last year with California Chrome, he had to put forth a pretty good effort in that race as Ride on Curlin was trying to get to you. This year, though, it seemed you ran away from him in the slop. How did American Pharaoh come out? And how was he on the gallop out and getting back to the winner's circle? Excellent. Um, he, he, you know, he was, he was, uh, for me, it was a little bit hard time to pull him out because, uh, I was too much water than ran, so it was a little bit slipper in there. Um, but, uh, he didn't, he, um, he come out of there after across the wire, he was full of himself, a lot of energy. Um, and, and I, I really like it the way he, he, you know, he pull up. I don't want to ask you, it's, it's sometimes hard to make these declarations it's like trying to choose which one of your children is your favorite but i want to ask what's the difference what what makes american pharaoh a different racehorse than california chrome and what about him do you think perhaps gives you a better chance this year than you had last year well they're all they're all amazing you know I, I believe that any horse they win the kentucky derby that's just the champions you know and um because like being the kentucky derby is not easy for them um and 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 then and they're all amazing horses i rode like unbelievable nice horses and 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 now American Pharaoh American Pharaoh he's just uh it's just a special horse for me yeah you know and um and he has uh, so much talent that there there I can't even you know describe it how how good this horse it is you know I the only time you know I kind of you know rode it a little bit it was in the Kentucky Derby but that's the only time and now in the pregnancy he, he show up like you know like like supposed to, <laughs> yeah. But but it, you know it's hard to compare horse to horse because every horse is different, and you know it, years go by, and you know it, it's always you know a different competition and 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 and, and different year. You know this year is one of the toughest uh, Kentucky Derby that I can you know I can think about it than like than I've been riding. And now they come to the Belmont, you know, like you're saying, there's a lot of uh, new horses and 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 a, and, a, and, a, and a amazing horses too there pretty good in there um but it's all about confidence i believe in confidence and 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 a and and myself and also in and and american pharaoh let's talk about the the way you rode the preakness because with, with the way the track came up you, you made a decision early on that you, you wanted to get in front you had that rail draw that a lot of people thought could have been a big obstacle for you but you used that natural speed that he has and he, and he got out there and he was running early when you use American Pharaoh like that early in a race, it doesn't seem like it catches up with them later on. Is it just a case he's one of those horses that has a, a really high, you know, cruising gear that you can use, or is it one of those things where is he very maneuverable? You can just start and stop on him when you want. Yeah, I think I can. You know, um, um, I can do a, a lot of things uh, there. Uh, you know, for in, like in any other horse, the American Pharaoh, I can stop in and use it in any time, and it's seems like it, it will not affect him not affect, affect him and the, the race um i i know there you know when when uh when i had the, the post number one i thought it was great i i never you know think about it was just a bad pose i was 
I was excited because, uh, you know, in the Kentucky area, I weighed so much ground. And, and now that I have the one hole, I was like, this is perfect. Save as much ground as I can and, and see how this the race is set up. But as the weather could change, you know, it was raining so much. And, you know, and, and Bob Buffer, I was, you know, we were talking about, you know, before I got on him. And, uh, and, and then the best thing, the best thing for him, I thought, you know, he told me, he's like, you know, just send it out of there. And, and I was totally agree with him. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I think it was the best shot just to get out of there and, and, and let her run. And it's like, all right. And, and it just was exactly what happens. And oh, she broke a little bit, a little bit sideways. Um, and the gate, cause the, the next, the horse, uh, Dorman, he was acting up a little bit in the gate and, uh, and that's when American Pharaoh he he just started moving around and and he broke it just a little bit touch touch but I think it was like to the outside but I was ready for it I was just ready to no matter what happens I want to just sponsor and send it uh, like you know maybe the first half furlong and see you know see where we got and 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 I know Mr C he's gonna he's gonna go after you know after me so I want to make sure that I'm pulling away the first you know the first at least quarter of the mile. And for that, I can just open it up and, and, and relax a little bit, American Pharaoh on the backside. And and that's just what happens. Uh, uh, but he just ran an unbelievable, unbelievable race. You're the only jockey ever to get a third crack at the Triple Crown, having won the Derby and Preakness three times now in your career. As you, you head into this third Belmont Stakes with the Triple Crown on the line, one of the things that and we in the media and horse fans tend to criticize riders is if they don't ride Belmont that day, so it's such a unique configuration of the racetrack, then we immediately start to criticize, well, if they would have ridden the undercard, they would have uh, had a better feel for the track that day. What, you and your agent, Brian Beach, what have you guys decided? Are you going to take some mounts earlier in the day, get your legs beneath you, or are you going to try and just avoid uh, any other distraction and just focus on that one race? You know, sometimes it helps, sometimes no, because, you know, and I believe that, there, there. If I if I write, you know, one or two, then maybe I think too much. Yeah. <laughs> and then I started like thinking about too much and figured out, trying to figure out things, you know. And, and and sometimes it's not good, and sometimes it's good. I I I always think that you know, if I can write one or two, it's fine. If not, then then you know, it'd be okay too. Uh, it's all about it's all about going in there and and to have Mary Conferro and. You know, in the right, in the right, uh, in the right energy, and and you know, I know Bob Buffer. I have all the confidence in him too. You know, he knows how to train those horses to go uh, in Belmont. You know, he's he, you know he's for that he gave me more confidence to go in the race. Well, I mean, you've you've been there with Bob before with Warren Blum. You were there last year with a great trainer in Art Sherman, and now you're yeah. there on board a great horse in American Pharaoh. I, I I think there has to be a lot of confidence. You know, Bob's going to have the horse. Right. Is there any doubt about the, the, the schedule that he's maintained, though? Because we make a lot about the third race in five weeks. This is actually the fourth race in eight weeks for American Pharaoh. I know, yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of, it's, it's a, really a lot of race in a short period of time. <laughs> but, you know, he's a strong horse, and, and, and I believe he can take it. I, I don't think, it, you know, it'll bother him that much uh, to go for the next race, you know. Uh, like, like I say, you know, Buffer, he will he will find a way to figure out how to train him uh, for the for that race, and for me, uh, you know, it's 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 crazy because I never thought that I was going to be in this situation again. Uh, you know, once once again for last year and and the next year, um, I I I think I was more, I mean, I'm, I, it would be more prepared this time than, than any other year because. It was where I'm below. It was my first time, and you know everything. I lost it out of the gate when he's when he, when he's out of the start. He stumbled, and that was it. I lost the race in there uh, with uh, California Chrome. Uh, he was he, he lost a lot of energy for other uh, you know two big races that he ran, and 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 he goes to the Belmont. It was it was just a little bit different. He kind of like he lose a little bit of weight, and um and and also again the other horse stepping and he's in the front leg, and 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 that was it. That was the end of the race. And it's still ran an unbelievable race, too. Yeah, he, he did. Get, he, he ran very well. I, I think if he wasn't stepped on, we might be talking about a much different scenario this year. And you could have been going for your second triple crown because I think California Chrome ran so admirably and courageously despite having a, you know, a, a big chunk of his foot taken off. Victor, I want to yeah. just say thank you so much for joining us. Uh, my last question to you is, are you going to change anything up 
from the last two times you headed into the Belmont? Anything preparation, arriving? I know last time uh, you went through this, you were enjoying it more because you're a little more further along in your career. You were so young when you rode War Emblem that it was a little bit of a blur. So last year you did take the time to enjoy the whole ride. Uh, anything different this year from last? Um, a little, a couple of things, yeah. I, I, I'm like always, I'm, I'm just having fun and enjoying myself uh, again, you know. Uh, I, I think uh, um, over my years of career, you know, it was just, an amazing years that I have, and especially these couple of years. So, yeah, I'm gonna go there a little bit later. The the last year, I'll probably be there by Tuesday. I got to go to the entries by Wednesday, and I mean, and be ready for for the race. Victor, best of luck. We'd love to see you on the back of a triple crown winner come this uh, this next Belmont Stakes, my friend. And uh, all the uh, all, all the best to you and all the connections of American Pharaoh.